Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this and this and kind of explain what they're doing. And you can see they've got jagged line. What they're trying to do is make a wavy line with these. And uh, we've been emailing back and forth that he took the smart fill tool. Let me zoom in here. And let me set my nudge factor on like 10 inches. And let's take the smart fill tool and fill that in. Fill that in and move it over. Fill that in, in and move it over. Not really moving it far enough. Whoop, missed one. Uh, huh. That's one I need. So let's take away that middle one. Well, this is a little easier said than done. Let's start all over. I actually need to nudge them a little bit further, like 15 inches. So let's start. Well, we'll, we'll like possibly, let's just start with that one. So we've already got it filled. So let's move that in. Take the smart fill tool, do every other one. Ha, can't believe I'm having so much trouble. So we need that one and then that one. And then what he's trying to do, it's pretty smart. Uh, left click, right click, group them together, control D, duplicate them, mirror them, and then have them match up. Uh, but there's a couple of problems with this. You know, either the triangle's not the center or something uh, is going on. So I created this. It's not quite that, uh, but you get a wavy line and it's perfect and it's really easy. Just take a two-point line, hold down the control button so it's perpendicular, and then open up the distort docker, distort flyout, pick on zipper, and don't type anything here yet. Start typing in here, and it's going to add nodes. And I'm going to add five nodes this time. But then I'm going to go right here and add the how much is going to distort it. And you can go to your heart's content. Now, go right here to smooth distortion. Look at that. Now, I'm still using somebody else's file, so I need to change this from hairlines to, I don't know what millimeters is, so I'm going to say 20. And look at that. Then I'm going to go to object and co uh, convert outline to an object. I'm going to left click, right click, and look at that line. Now, and, and I'm not trying to copy his. I'm just trying to show him how to make a wavy line. Now, here's kind of the key to make them alternating. Take the parallel dimension tool, and I'd go right in the middle of this hump. And we're at 0.79. Okay? And there's two ways you can look at this. You could type in 0.79, and then... Control D and make a duplicate, and then Control D and make a duplicate at the end. And that left a, a, a space in the middle, or it left a space in the middle. That's what we're wanting. But you could also, because you had to do that twice, well, why don't we go 0.79 times 2 and let Corel figure out it's 158, Control D. And now, now I don't have to do it but one time. And then if you want those lines black and wavy, just take your smart foot tool. Well, you don't even have to do that. We could probably take all those and then left click black, right click no outline, and you have a wavy set of lines. Much easier than this. And, and you could control it uh, with this distort tool and change a bunch of stuff. This is a, a good idea. I like it. Uh, I would actually make my triangle bigger. Um, I don't know why it's off, but you can see when he duplicated over here, it's just off a little bit. It's going to cause you problems where this can't be. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.